Oh, so loud. Okay. All right. Hopefully we can find some food because, I mean, we're doing okay, but I would really like to get... I mean, we started out with like over 60 food and now we have more bodies. So we gotta, we gotta get a better food income. I'm gonna have to focus on getting some uh, more beds and getting actual planters indoors, the greenhouses. Let's see if I can actually make a greenhouse. I think, didn't I make enough stuff to make a greenhouse? Oh, I need, I just use up all my pipes. I need two glass and six pipe. Two glass and six pipe. I know I can make the glass, no problem. Pipe, I might be short on materials, yeah. I'll make two for now. I think if we break some more stuff down, we can pull it off. This actually is still going up pretty good. It's perception, it shouldn't... I guess it to go... I didn't think it could go past five very easily with that book. Maybe it can go up to six without a problem. All right, what can we recycle for for metal? Those are only worth one, so that's like nothing. Oh, wow, these scrap things are worth a lot. A lot of good stuff. I want to scrap the cogs. Oh, the metal sheets I could do. Probably find more, so that's probably fine. What's this recycled into? Ooh, we get we do get leather out of these. Actually, I just remembered the thing I keep wanting to remember to craft, and I keep forgetting I need to make a where's the bag at? There's a leather bag somewhere. I thought it was in this window here. Is it in here? Oh, there it is. Three leather and three nylon. Yeah, we can definitely make one of those. The more carrying capacity, the better. Especially since like, these uh, expeditions are getting farther and farther out. Taking longer and longer. And if you can revisit old spots, I don't know how long it takes before you can revisit an old spot for loot again because it does give you like a last visited time so i assume that's for a reason we gotta fix this bed so he's making all of these uh parts here let's see oh he's here we don't recycling All right, how many more? How many more do we need? We need four more pipes. And we can make that greenhouse. We got just enough. But not Steven. Damn it, wrong person. Richard. It's pipes. Perfect. Yeah, we need to get a lot more metal now, too. Wood and metal. Always need more of it. She's like waiting for the shower. She's like, come on, hurry up. I need some creep just standing outside the shower waiting. <laughs> oh, you had to sleep now, did you? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Rabbit? No. Nope. Not gonna do it. Alright, what can we do with you, Steven? Oh, you gotta sleep soon. Let's just go ahead and have you sleep right now. Trisha. After you eat. Well, we need to actually. Why don't you go cook some meals? I'm gonna make some broccoli soup. Hell yeah. I'm gonna eat my water too, though. Hey, rabbit! Oh, wait. Hold on, before you do that, why don't you go grab that rabbit? Because I don't want somebody to, like, steal it. I see somebody creeping up. 
Are you going for my junk pile? There's nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there, man. Wasting your time. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's so dark. I don't know why this floodlight over here is still not working. Meat. I only got one meat off of him that time. Man, that one rabbit had three meat, though. Yeah, rabbits do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, we got that. Okay, what was he doing? Oh, yeah, crafting the uh, broccoli soups. Make them broccoli soups. Delicious. I think you get more advanced recipes later. Like, add, like, multiple ingredients or, like, salt and pepper or... I don't know. Oh, looks like we got an encounter. Uh-oh, it's the Black Roses. We don't get along with them. Whoa, you were lucky. We nearly took you out. It's not a good idea to sneak up on us like that. Um, us? We need us. I just see you, buddy. We're gonna fight. I knew we couldn't trust you. Defend ourselves. Defend yourselves. Okay. Ow! Blood me, you prick. Wait, why do you get to go twice? I call BS. Well, he's got really... What, one to eight strength? This guy's a beast. So what happens if I break his arms? Are we getting all these damages on the arm? He's got the same amount of HP as me. With two of us, we should be able to out-damage him. Although this guy may have the counters. I've seen these guys at the counters. It's pretty brutal. Okay, boom. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, I know what. Oh, really? I missed? I wonder what assessing the opponent would do. I can do a poison punch. Let's try it. Ah! Poison. Nice. Extract poison. Hey, what? And he's got skills. Okay. Ooh, critical. Oh, that chunked him. I don't have enough to do another attack. Why is it? Oh, I guess it's because I have some left. Um, how do I pass? Uh, in turn? Okay. See ya! What you got? Cabbage seed, hell yeah! I'll take all your goodies, thank you! Appreciate it. Hey, you got level 2 strength, finally. Yeah, I got it. Bring a seven decks. Man, that, that's some really good stats. It's crazy. Minus 50 rep. That's all right. We're going to keep fighting the Black Roses. Are we actually getting a search now, too? Nice. Okay, cool. So those guys are like way the hell up there. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to win them fights, you know? Started out pretty brutal, though, that... Uh, Chunk my guy pretty hard. Hopefully I don't get any more fights on the way back. That would be unfortunate. Right, you make the foods. Everybody else sleep in. You got plenty of time now, though. You could probably... Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, cool. Right, can you, like, pick... Points available? I didn't even know this was a thing! You can put points in? Oh my god. Okay, so... Why is it not... I can't hover over... Oh. Interesting, so we only have a point right now in Charisma. So what is this? This is Production Manager. Generate resources 20% faster when generating resources from a production building on the map.
Reduction building on the map? So there's like buildings that you can get resources from? Interesting. I mean, I feel like I should just max that out since it's already two or three. Let's do it. So I'm gonna have to start sending uh, her out. So these other ones, I guess it auto assigns them before you, all the points that, that you got before you got the character. But anything we've leveled up since then though, we should be able to allocate points to. I wish it said somewhere on this screen which character you were looking at. Let's see. So he's got two points in perception. Feels information about the target. So the assess, that's why we have the assess. I just don't know. It seems like it's so expensive. It's five stamina. So you're giving up a whole round of combat just to assess the opponent. Maybe it reveals weaknesses and stuff though? I don't know. Poison Resilience seems decent. Quick Study increases the speed at which character reads books. That seems like a downright good skill period because then you could just level everything else up really good. I mean, what you can read from books, which I think is Perception, Charisma, and Intelligence. I think everything else has to be done through some sort of physical training. It's not bad though. Study movements. After each round of combat, this character gains 2% increase in their melee accuracy. That's cool. 50% smaller chance of gaining the fear status effect. Always prepared. On the first round of combat, this character has a 30% increased chance to perform a counterattack. That's really good. So if you like leveled that up all the way, would it be like 90%? It's too bad. Can you like refund? No. You can only purchase more upgrades. It's unfortunate. Well, I think I'm going to level up a uh, quick study here. I mean, it seems like a good. And then also goes to the next tier. Oh my god. Okay. We'll look at that more when we have the points available. All right. What else? So you're at. You're at five perception. Let's finish getting you to six. Should be a little faster now that we have the uh, hurt too. Nice. That shouldn't take very long at all. You. Actually, let's check the status of our equipment. See if anything needs to be repaired. Oxygen filter is getting a little low. Weather vane is trashed. Oh, we can also upgrade that. I think I should maybe upgrade the weather vane so we can see when stuff's going down a little easier. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Searching is done. What did we find? Any some goodies? Transistor. Nice. Silver scraps. Give me that wood. Oh, a knife. Card right, strength four. Damage 25 to 35. That's way better than our knuckles that we're using right now. like it. Might as well take the cheap light stuff. What did I just grab? Cement, okay. I like should grab some coal and start using the fuel burning option as well. Definitely take that bulb. Uh, let's see. Plastic. Oh, the yarn. Hell yeah, the wool. I think with the four wool that we just found right now, these three plus the wool we had, we could build something. I can't remember what it was though. Flashbang proximity mining blueprint. Blueprint which details how to create a flashbang proximity mine. Okay. That sounds good. Actually, we can carry almost everything in here. This laptops, definitely valuable. The wood. Is this a full one? No, it's an empty one. Wire. Oh my god, all the wood. Give me all the wood. Rope. Oh, I want that metal too. Let's give up this cement. Take all of that. 
But good enough. Perfect. Let's get you guys back home with the loot. Sweet. That's a good that's some good stuff in there. So let's see, how do we upgrade this? Forecast. Increase forecast range to two days. Durability, okay. The durability. Not a big deal, but this would be really nice. Anyone make a third floor yet? Can't build it for some reason. Have you tried building the uh there's a um you have to build another one of these things here. I haven't tried it myself. I'm just curious if you tried it. Maybe it's maybe it just doesn't work. But this stairwell, I'm assuming if you build that, I would let you do it. I just need one more metal. I could test it out, which they're bringing back right now. Maybe you need to... I wonder if you have to build like... Oh, hell yeah. Maintenance training. Increase object repair speed. Nice. I like these little achievements, they're pretty cool. Yes, yeah, and by the way, hello, J. G. Julius. Sorry, I probably bought butchered your name. I'm so sorry. But uh, thanks for hanging out. Have you tried building that thing though? I'm curious because uh, if there's something I need to know about, that would be nice. Hey, we need to water our crops. Let you check? Okay, cool. I mean, if not, I can check. Uh, like, like I said, when this the expedition gets back, they'll have the materials I need to to see if I can build it. All right, perception up. So does that mean I have another point on Steven? Yeah, we're gonna stop reading. Stop reading perception books. Yes, yeah, so I do have another point. Sweet. All right, so. Taunt causes a target of the taunt to miss their next turn. But on their following turn, they will target this character and have plus one strength. Yeah, I mean, a miss is a miss, though. That's pretty, pretty good. Autopsy. This character can perform an autopsy on a corpse inside the shelter, forming them, providing them with 50 XP in each of their six stats. So you use your dead for XP. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that works. Just didn't have the resources to check the door. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I got. I still haven't even finished filling out my second floor yet, so got a little ways to go. Increase the experience gained from reading stat books by five percent. Relish is a challenge. If outnumbered in combat, the character gains plus two dex and deals fifty percent more damage. Nice. Hunter, gather resources 10% faster when hunting on a tile. Wait, you can hunt? What? How do you hunt on a tile? I must know these things. That seems really good, though. Might not be a bad thing. I think I'm going to save the point for now. But that seems like it would be really good. All right, Bullethead. I'll catch you later. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good one. All right. Um, so how do I test out this hunting on a tile thing? Hey, I got to process floppy. Process. Oh, yeah, this is what. Okay, so I get one extra trait point. There's nothing I can do with one point, though. So when we get another point could pick up like one of these other ones. Characters in shelter have 20% chance reduced chance of contracting food poisoning. Even gains relationship points faster with other characters. All those would be pretty good. Veggie power. Character will gain double the substance from eating vegetables and gain a positive mood modifier every time they do so. Yeah, once I get one more point then that'll be pretty good. You gotta get 
back indoors, I guess. Um, how do you read some more books? Oh shit, we got another encounter. Damn it. And it's the black roses. Okay. Cause we're already hurt. I'm a little bit worried about this fight. Cause these guys are tough. We're gonna flee. Try. Successful. Okay, good. I still wanna risk it with the damage we already took. Every the the random encounters we've had have been not that bad, but the ones with the black roses have been pretty brutal. I don't I also wonder if like the killing people mood buff stacks, debuff stacks, like if you kill more than one person. Or if it's just the one. Didn't wait, didn't I not water that? I'm confused. Steven, we can do some learning with you. What do we got? Uh, your charisma is terrible. Your intelligence is really low. That would be pretty fast. Let's get that leveled up. I might just have to build some more outdoor planners, too. There it goes. Okay. Um... Oh, do we have enough to build? Oh, yeah, I've completely spaced on building the um, greenhouse. Oh, so we can make tier two components now. That's what it was talking about. B binoculars. A piece of equipment which allows you to view things from far away. When equipped, will reveal more fog of war as the party travels. That's really good. Bulletproof vest. Oh my god, we can make a child's school bag? Oh, we're gonna make another one of those. Improved stab proof vest. We can make lots of goodies now. Camping gear. Piece of equipment used to make sleeping rough a bit more comfortable. Reduces how much tiredness parties return to the shelter with. These are all really good. I can't even make the binoculars though. I need two lenses. Can I make lenses? I can. Okay. I definitely want to make a child's school bag. No, no question. That carrying capacity is so legit. I got distracted yet again because I was going to make that greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Oh, it's outside. Wait, what? I thought it was indoors. Okay, that's fine. What is it? What's the benefit of it being that versus versus uh, just a planter? Doesn't really seem to indicate why it would matter. Does it just protect it? Maybe it protects it from storms better. Which I haven't encountered any issue with yet. Oh, where's the planter at? Planter. Surface planter. Doesn't really say, but I'm, just, I'm assuming it has something to do with protecting your crops. It's got to. I mean, since I have the stuff to make it, I'm going to go ahead and make it. Maybe it grows faster too, if you want to hope. So let's do this over here. Oh, why is that one red? Is something wrong with that one? Huh, I don't know why that one's red. Trader! Hey, hey. Who's my social person? Is it was Arthur, right? Oh, he's not, he's not technically back yet. He's got to wait for this slow guy. He's so, he's just strolling on in. Come on, man. Hurry up. 
Move your ass! This <laughs> is threatening. Actually, she had good charisma, right? I think she did. Nah, it's only three. Alright, we got the goods. Definitely got some more wood. Oh my god, so much more wood. That's gonna be very helpful. Alright, not you. We got a Grim's all tore up. You gotta get some rest, buddy. Alright, trader. Alpha, alpha. Okay. Give me, we got some potatoes. I want some potatoes. I guess this is a vegetable, right? Plant with cluster purple flowers, bed clover. It's very expensive, though. I feel like that's probably like a tier two food that I can't even really use yet. Animal fat. Not too worried about that. I think I got lots of animal fat, actually. Holy basil. He plant seeds. 15. Probably worth it, though. We'll make it happen. That's also 15. This wood would be nice. What are these? Splints. I haven't had to, haven't had to use a splint yet, thankfully. Onion seed. What temperature do we need for onion seeds? At 12 to 24. All right, can we get enough trade value for that? What are these meals worth? Like nothing. And what do we trade here? Some gold scrap, that's five. Let's rid of these level one knuckles. Should I keep... Uh... I'll keep three. Because I got that knife now, too. So I can replace one of those. What else can we trade you? Magnesium for eight. I don't know what it's for. It's probably really important to have, but I'm going to sell it. Passion flower. Well, I think to actually, I can almost get us there. What else do I want to sell? Actually, now that I made the child's bag, I think I can toss this, trade the satchel that I made. The child's bag is probably like, well, no, it's considered a tier one. 40 pounds weighs 2.5. 20 pounds weighs two. Why is this worth less? No, it's not. This just seems like this should be the tier two and this should be the tier one. Uh, whatever. I got six more bucks to play with here. Is there anything I can get for six bucks? Seven point five for some wood. Want some rocks? <laughs> trade you some rocks. Wait, can I trade you one less rock? Will you take that trade? Ninety six percent. Sweet. All right, cool. Do I know how to fix the not powered status for structures like floodlights? No, I do not, because mine is it's left my my left floodlight has been broken forever. I don't know what I don't know how to fix it. Doesn't seem like there's any way to upgrade the amount of power, at least at this point in the game. So yeah, if you find out, let me know because I haven't figured it out. I even went in here. Tier of the bags are determined by the crafter's intelligence. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, the floodlight in here, I like, it was turned off at one point and I turned it back on, but it's still not working. I think, so, says, so the, I think probably what it is, is, did you build any lights or anything else that draws power? Because I think that's what's happening is it's drawing more than it has energy for. Because I ended up adding a bulb and it pushed me over. The greenhouse there is taking 1.5 kilowatts. So I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of screwing myself with this stuff. Fortunately, the stove doesn't take power. Quick diffuse box. It's, um, if you haven't moved it, it's by default. I think it was over on this side over here. I ended up moving it, moving mine over here, but it's just, a, just look for the little box on the wall. It should be there by default. 